Hey there foodies and fridge enthusiasts. Welcome back to Press to Cook. I'm Dale and today we've got a super handy guide for you all. We're diving into the top tips for resetting your Danby fridge. But before we chill out with these tips, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to join our awesome community. All right, let's get started. Picture this. You open your Danby fridge and something's just not right. Maybe it's not cooling properly or the lights are flickering like a disco ball. Don't panic, resetting your fridge could be the simple fix you need. First tip, safety first folks, always unplug your fridge before you start tinkering with it. You don't want any accidental zaps. Next up, let's talk about the control panel. Most Danby fridges have a digital control panel which is basically the brain of your fridge. To reset it, hold down the power button for about 10 seconds until the display goes blank. Then plug your fridge back in and turn it on. Voila, your fridge's brain just got a reboot. Now if your fridge is still acting up, it might be a good idea to check the thermostat settings. Sometimes they can get knocked out of whack. Make sure the thermostat is set to the right temperature. For most fridges, that's around 37 degrees Fahrenheit for the fridge section and zero degrees for the freezer. Adjust as needed and give it some time to stabilize. On to tip number four, clean those coils. Dirty coils can make your fridge work harder than it needs to, which can lead to all sorts of issues. Unplug your fridge again, pull it away from the wall and locate the coils, usually at the back or underneath. Give them a good vacuuming or brush off to remove dust and grime. Cleaner coils mean a happier fridge. All right, let's not forget the door seals. If the seals are loose or dirty, your fridge might not close properly, causing it to lose cool air. Give the seals a good wipe down with warm, soapy water and check for any cracks or gaps. If they're damaged, it might be time to replace them. Now here's a pro tip. If your fridge has a reset button, use it. Not all models have this, but if yours does, it's usually located inside the fridge compartment. Press and hold the reset button for about five seconds. This can often solve minor glitches without any further hassle. And for those of you with ice makers or water dispensers, don't forget to reset those too. Check your fridge's manual for specific instructions, but generally you'll need to hold down the reset button or unplug the unit for a few minutes. Finally, if you've tried all these tips and your Danby fridge is still being a diva, it might be time to call in the pros. Sometimes a technician's touch is what's needed to get things back on track. And there you have it folks, the top tips for resetting your Danby fridge. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a cool tip from press to cook. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep your cool in the kitchen.